biofeedback. While hypnosis suppresses left brain, TM bypasses it. Now, biofeedback actually employs the self-cognitive function of the left brain to gain access to the right brain. It does this by teaching the left brain to first visualize the desired result and then to recognize the feelings associated with successfully achieving the result, as if it's already happened. This creates a neural pathway, which, once established, can be used by the left brain to repeatedly instruct the right brain in accessing the appropriate area. A neural pathway is simply made by connections between neurons, nerve cells, in the brain. When a behavior is performed, the connections between these cells change with the frequency of the behavior performed. These neural pathways are like grooves in the roadmaps of our brain. This phenomenon is also known as neuroplasticity. Applications can include blocking pain, enhanced healing, stimulating the pleasure centers, or a variety of other specific physiological results. This activity can be monitored by a feedback device. In McDonald's study, he used the example of a digital thermometer to take the temperature of the left leg in response to a stated intention of increasing the circulation in that limb. In short, biofeedback teaches the left brain to work in concert with the right brain to establish new neural pathways, which can be repeatedly used again and again.